We are now going to look at a manipulative technique for the acromioclavicular joint we have developed at the College of Osteopaths. With the patient sideline and the dysfunctional acromioclavicular joint uppermost, the operator stands behind the patient. The patient is asked to place the upper hand on their hip, allowing the operator to use their cordad hand to support the elbow. The operator's cephalad hand is placed anterior to the patient's glenohumeral joint, with the palm cupping the humeral head. The operator supports the upper torso with their hip side on. The patient is asked to resist pressure brought by the operator on the elbow. This causes infraspinatus and teres minor essentially to contract, thereby locking the glenohumeral joint. An impulse is then initiated by the operator's cephalad hand, sending the glenohumeral joint complex posterior. This gaps the acromion from the clavicle.